I'm going to go through this uh, article, this recent news. Um, it says Natural History Museum to review potentially offensive, potentially offensive Charles Darwin collection. This is as probably more ridiculous than you think than you think it is like this is by the telegraph by the way so let's go through this try to be patient it's going to be some level of insanity that okay let's see this let's just get into it okay so here's the step how's my idea right if you are listening to this later please make sure that you are subscribed and hit the notification bell so you can actually join me live so that we could actually i could highlight your comments like see like soha is here uh fatima is here uh, and Debra is here. My favorite people are here. Anyways, let's go through this. Here's the subtitle. The subtitle, it already makes us dive into crazy town. Okay? Right away. Right at the beginning. Okay? An internal review in the wake of the Black Lives Matter protest has led to an audit into some rooms and items what this oh god what what does this got to do with black lives matter come on why you guys come on why are you guys doing this oh my god this is insane what is happening to the world uh by the way guys this is i've been here okay this is a beautiful museum i've been and i've been i don't know if i could say the name of the person that did this for me but when i went to london I went to this museum and somebody who worked there, I don't want to mention the name because I could get like, I don't know if they're going to go after that guy or not because every everybody that apparently is talking, defending me and to, uh, be, befriending me, some people are going after them these days, right? But that person who knew me gave me, I, I really owe them, I wish I could thank them right now, but they gave me public tour and they went, to, not public, a private tour, and they showed me everything behind this. Like my, I got my own free private tour because of the person there that knew me. Like really, it was so good. It was so good. But anyways, this museum, guys. If you if you go to London and if you don't go to this museum, what is wrong with you? Like what is wrong with you? Okay. Uh, the Natural History Museum will become the latest. Who, who else is here? Zindabad Armin, thank you so much. Audio is good. Lee is here. The Natural History Museum will become the latest institution to review its collection after an audit. Uh, warns its charged Darwin exhibitions could be seen as offensive. Oh no, offensive. Why? Let's see. An internal an internal review sanctioned uh, in the wake of the Black Lives Matter protests has led to an audit into some room statues and collected items that could potentially cause offense this better start making sense very soon because right now it seems like this is insanity okay right now it seems like you know all the like craziest predictions that people make about the whole woke dogma taking over and becoming mainstream and going into science and going and trying to control every aspect of our lives you know how some of them you hear and you're like come on nah it's not gonna be that bad like yes it's ridiculous these people are insane but they're not gonna go it's not gonna go that far it's not gonna go that far well it's going that far look it's going that far to all this oh god damn it here uh music okay let's see maybe it's maybe i'm hey maybe i'm exa maybe i'm reading too much into this let's read this let's try to keep an keep an open mind keep an open mind this might start making sense Guys, let's try to keep an open mind. Let's try not to be biased, and maybe these people make sense, okay? Um, guys, if you repeat the, the same comment over and over again in the live chat, I mean, yeah, Sexy Kelly all the way for sure. And if, in fact, after I'm done with this article, I'm going to do something live um, on air, which you guys are going to see. And, yeah, Sexy Kelly, if you do that one more time, um, I'm going to, you know, you're going to get removed. Uh, oh, yep, there we go. I'm going to remove you. Sorry, because block user. There we go. Bye-bye. Um, but, guys, thank you to that spammer for reminding me, because right after this is over, I'm, I'm not going to bring anybody on today, uh, because I'm going to go do something very important. We're going to release 
uh, the sexy Cali art, and I'm gonna do it live here on air with you guys. And then after that, I'm gonna go do um, other stuff regarding sexy Cali. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna release sexy Cali right on air after I finish this article. Okay, I'm gonna do it with you guys. Okay. Anyways, um, let me let's go. Sorry. It warns the collections were with collections which some may find problematic could include. Uh, specimens gathered by Darwin, whose voyage to uh, the, Galapo uh, the ah, I was, Galapagos Island um, on HSM Beagle was cited by a curator as one of British Britain's many colonialist scientific expeditions. Okay, so they're the basically they're saying it's problematic. Okay, this is the argument. It's prob problematic because when Darwin was doing his scientific expedition into by the way I do want to go to the Galapagos I always have the problem saying it. Galap Galapagos Islands I really want to go there one day and I I've, I'm pretty sure there's some Darwin tour there or something happening there that you know you could go in the footsteps of Darwin I'm pretty sure there's something there if it's not that would be insane that it's not something like that there but I want to go on a tour one day there but anyway so the whole argument is that Darwin was on a on a colonialist colonialist scientific expedition I mean from all things colonialist the scientific expedition ones I think are we could be like, you know, that's not like, I mean, colonize me if you want with scientific expeditions. I don't understand. Like, is that the problematic part of the, like, is that, isn't that the positive side of this whole colon? Like, can we not add, yes, there was a whole bunch of bad things that happened because of British colony taking colonizing pl places, but isn't the science part like the silver lining to all that negative part, like isn't scientific expeditions like a good thing? Not everything about a, you know, I mean, what do you have against scientific expeditions? Like they they treat like colonial ah, the tongue twister for me, colonialist as if it's such a like a it's a, like a Voldemort effect for them. Like if you put it behind everything, it just makes it negative, right? Like you could say colonialist orgasms, and all of a sudden it's like a bad thing. You could say colonialist cute puppies, and now cute puppies are evil, right? I mean, sci it's scientific expeditions. It's a great thing. This is something. Oh, by the way, I need to zoom so you guys could read with me. I didn't realize I didn't zoom in. This is a this is a good thing. This is a good thing. This is part of a good, you know. This was a part of the, uh, this was part of a positive externalities of being colonized by the Great Britain. Your country, the countries that were colonized by Great Great Britain, part of the part of the effect was them benefiting from all the scientific stuff coming into. Yeah, anyways, do you guys agree with that? Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for that, Dornop. Museum buses are now desperately seeking to address what some staff believe are legacies of colony, uh, colonies, slavery, and empire. Guys, everything, if you want to do that, anything that the British Empire touched and did could now be address can be categorized as legacies of colonies, slavery, and empire. Everything that like then you know you could you could remove everything based on that standard. You could you could remove the entire London. You could what like how could <laughs> what? Like what is the standards? What is now not a legacy of the I mean there are good legacies too of the of the British Empire, you know they did good things as well. You know what of you know what is one of the legacies of the British Empire, ending slavery. That's one of their legacies. So you're saying legacies of colonies and slave? Well, that's it's of slavery, and you you mean the the ending of it as well? It was the ending of it. It was part of that legacy. Do you want to mention that? 
are you gonna like be anti ending the slavery because that's also part of the legacies of the British Empire? I mean, they didn't have to, but they did. They did. They did end slavery on moral grounds, not on not on any economic principles. So yeah, uh, by potentially renaming, relabeling, or removing these traces in the in the institution. God damn it, guys! They're coming after our science. They're coming after our c- celebrations of science. This is a history of science they're fucking with. These motherfuckers will not be stopped unless we stop them. They're coming after everything. Every fucking thing they're coming after. This is they're like Islam. Every aspect of your life they want to control. It goes on. The executive board told staff in documents seen by the Sunday Telegraph that in light of Black Lives Matter and the recent anti-racist demonstrations around the world, see, this is what I'm telling you guys. This is what anti-racism means to them. This is what they go and find. Again, people are like, oh, Armin, why are you against anti-racism? Aren't you? Are you racist if you're against anti-racism? Well, because your anti-racism is going and demolishing things that are not even racist. God damn it! This is science. You, oh. The museum would undertake a review of existing room names and whether they any whether any statues or collections, um, what, or whether any statues or collections or could potentially cause offense. Is this pr- proper English? What, there's a weather here and there's an or here. I don't know. Okay. But here, guys, remember when they were toppling statues, people were saying, you know what? Statues are okay. But they don't have to be in public. Yes, statues. You can celebrate statues. You know, you don't have to celebrate them. You could keep the statues because they represent history. But then maybe put them in the museum. They don't have to. Given that these statues have problematic background and blah blah blah, they don't. We don't have to have them in public places. If they if they represent history and an important part of history, then just put them in museums or something like that. Okay. Okay. You're like yeah. Okay. Okay. I get that. I get that. I get. That. They're coming after them even in museums they have they what happened to put them in museums not public places because they have problematic history like they're not like even in museums they're like nope 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 nope, nope, nope. not even here not even here all right let's continue because we want to go into we want to finish this so we could get to sexy cali right we're going to release release the release release cali all right, hold on. One of the institution's directors said in, a, in international documents that new action taken to address these issues would alter uh, the use and display of our collections and public spaces. A- an example of new thinking, new thinking. Jesus, man, these are scary type of... Okay, to address perceived uh, imperial connections to science was a paper penned by a curator and shared with staff which aimed, which claimed science, racism, and colonial colonial power were inherently entwined. See, this is, guys, this is how I... Okay, so here's the thing. The critical theory people, they are anti-science. Right, they're anti-science. They're anti-objective reality. Do not believe me. Go re- read their own material. They are okay, and this is how they're gonna get at science. Right? They're gonna say science again. This is how you know we, as atheist activists, we kept on fighting against religion and highlighted how anti-science religion is. And this is one of the many similarities that critical theories people have with religion. They're clear and obvious and direct anti-science anti-science anti-intellectual attitude they have and the excuse because because they don't want because objective reality and data and facts is against their claims so instead of actually adjusting their claims to 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 represent data they're going after science itself right and they're going after science by saying that science is tied into colonial power this science itself is one of the original sins of white men okay and again i'm not exaggerating we already have videos on this 
they're not even hiding the fact that they're against science, that they're anti-science. And they want to change, turn, turn science into their own version of just coming up with their narratives of what is real based on the conclusions that they already have in mind rather than like people guys the, the, the their heroes they say it they like oh looking at data looking at schedules looking at um you know statistics this is the white this is the tools of the master this is the white man's way this is the racist way of doing things right they are, these people are anti intellectual and they are actually more open about it than islam and christianity ever was it's insane this is insane and they like they're putting that in museum. They're like, oh yeah, science, science. That's the white man's way. Like that's the, that's the racist way. Like again, we we covered this on on this channel that they were doing it. They are openly saying that. Then displaying the fact that science is like a racist thing. They're putting that it's white culture. It's white science. Is, guys, they're saying science is white culture. You would think that somebody that is racist against um, non-white people would say that. But no, these people are saying that because they think you know anything white culture is bad and evil. So they're coming after your science people. These woke Pakistani people, they're they're coming after your science, and they're they're. It they seems it's working. Like these people are being intimidated into, they're 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 bending the knee. They're bending the knee. Uh, the work, I, guys. If you're not scared of these people, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, the work further argues that museums were put in place to legitimize a racist ideology. God damn it, I, I spoke too soon. It's just a, look at this. Museums were put in place to legitimize a racist ideology. Holy shit, man. This is like an onion piece. If it was like, no, what is this? No, man, these museums are not for legitimizing a racist ideology, you motherfuckers. It's a place for celebrating science and oh my God. That con that that covert racism exists in the gaps between the displays. Oh my guys, I can't believe they're actually mentioning gaps. This is what you're doing is the racism of the gaps. What's coined by the way? This was I, I noticed people are mentioning racism of the gaps without giving credit where credit is due. Racism of the gaps was um coined by Devon Tracy. I don't care if you don't like him. It's a genius term, and it's 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 really good that it's like a, it applies here as well. These people ra see racism everywhere. You know how people um, explain everything with God as soon as you do, like the God of the gaps. Basically, you guys know what God of the gaps is, right? So racism of the gaps applies here. Look, everything, everything is ra they see racism in every single corner, every single brick, every single you know. They, they they say racism is falling from the sky and oozing from the ground. Like it's just they just they the air that they're breathing. These people that think they're breathing in racism. The food that you eat, the every smell, everything is racist. Every this is not a joke anymore. You know how we used to exaggerate. We used to exaggerate to make fun of these people, telling telling everybody that everything is racist to these people, right? But we were when we were saying that before. We were exaggerating. It's not an exaggeration anymore because they actually say it. They say everything is racist. They, they, they. You know, they, they, the way they frame it themselves is not the matter of if there is like anything you point to. The question shouldn't be if there is racism there. The question is how there is racism there, and this is not me reframing what they're saying this is actually word by word how they say it so apparently this covert racism exists in the gaps between the displays the gaps between the displays god damn it man and as there, this is god this is too too insane for me i really can't take this anymore as a result collections need to be decolonized decolonized guys yes the word this is like the morality police that they have right now, okay? Everything has to be approved by the Ministry of, I don't know, truth or whatever, right? 
they have decided like this is again if this is not like islam what the, this is the closest thing to Islam. this is getting i mean islam is taking notes right now <laughs> the executive board the exe wait here let's see uh, aj is saying i must be racist because my vegetables were picked by migrant workers from asian countries aj you joke you think that's you think that's just a joke that's actually what they're saying okay Bitch, I'm I'm serious. Like you think that's an exaggeration? That is not an exaggeration. What you're saying could be used as an example of racism. L l maybe I think I think we okay here. Yeah. Um, here. The executive board of the museum is understood to be guys. This is not a joke article. Okay, this is a real article. This is real news. The executive of uh, the executive board of the museum is understood to be very engaged with the many issues and questions it highlights, uh, legacies that may fall foul of the shift in opinion might be the uh, exotic birds of Darwin and Captain Robert Fitzroy, uh, as their shared journey to South Africa was in. Uh, Enable British uh, greater British control was enable enable British British control. I think this is bad English. Am I am I uh, of the region? According to the paper shared with the sta with staff, uh, the the great naturalist Darwin also has a statue in the museum main hall and a large wing named after him. Do not remove that statue, you motherfuckers. If you remove that, you fucking pieces of shit. Do not touch that. That's a that is the main one highlighting the great, you know, the stairs that you go up to. This is sitting right on top of those stairs. Do not remove that one. That's a, like an iconic piece. What else are you gonna remove? There could also be calls for uh, specimens gathered by Sir Joseph Banks to be addressed as the botanist sailed with Captain James Cook on the Endeavor uh, voyage in the in the service of the British Empire. Okay, so basically anything that was in the service of the British Empire. You know how much science was done in the name of the British Empire? Is every single one of them now going to be problematic because it was done in the service of the British Empire? Every single one of them are going to. This is a museum, goddammit. Like everything science, even if the worst of all people. I mean, these are good. Uh, even if Satan himself did science. It, you know, the science could be put in the museum. You could put the museum, you could put the science in that museum. It's not going to be like, yeah, it's, uh, Satan is, I mean, technically Satan is cool and okay. But if you hate Satan and Satan did science, you could put that science in the fucking museum because the museum is about like, hey guys, here's some fucking science. This is some fucking science. That's all uh, the only reason you need to put that in the science, science based museum. Uh, the ceiling of the ceiling of the grand. Hints, how okay? Oh my god, okay. Where hope the blue whale skeleton hangs. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful, guys. If you once when you enter this hall, it's just so breathtaking. If your breath is not taken away when you enter this hall and you see this thing, then I don't know what's wrong with you. But you see the ceiling, you see the ceiling, there's some plants there. You know, they have you think these people have issues with plants? You think that's going too far? No, that's not going too far. They have problems with plants. Okay, they have problems with plants on the fucking ceiling. This is how far we've gone. They have problems with plants on the ceiling. Let's see why they have problems with plants on the ceiling. Okay, let's see. The painted ceiling contains visual depictions of plants like cotton, tea, and tobacco, which were the plants that fueled the British Empire's economy, according to the paper shared with staff in the wake of Black Lives Matter protests. They have problems with plants, people. They have problems with images of plants because it, because it fueled the British Empire. Oh, my God. Oh, like, those plants, man. They are I'm triggered by plants. <laughs> oh, tea. Tea plants. Oh, you know, guys, when I, I, when I saw this paragraph, I wanted to come. I was trying to go around right before this live stream. I was thinking, of, let me come up with an example of how ridiculous this is. Like, oh my, like how many degrees of separation for things to be problematic, right? I tried to come up with an example to show how ridiculous it is. And I came up with some, but they're like, it's not as bad as the real thing. 
You know, I, I tried to come up with a joke. None of the jokes was as bad as the actual real thing. Th this is the joke. Reality is the actual joke. Okay? You can't get any worse than, like, oh, my God, T. T, what does T remind you of? Oh, this is a picture of T. T, British, oh, British colony was, the British colony was fueled by T. Oh, T is offensive now. T is offensive. <laughs> oh, God. Images of T. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting traumatized. My ancestors were enslaved, and that was fueled by T. Cancel T, everyone. <laughs> oh, this, is, this cannot be real. Is this actually real? Yes, telegraph.co.uk. Okay. How is this not a joke? I um. What are they going to do to the ceiling then? Are they going to paint over these plants with what? Um, AJ is saying he wrote another article August 30. The British Library's chief librarian has claimed racism is a creation of white people. Yeah, yeah. They say, yeah, we'll get into those as well. The presence of statues depicting Thomas Henry Huxley. Okay, so wait. The, according to the paper shared with the staff and woke. Oh yeah, okay. The presence of a statue depicting Thomas Henry and Hux, Huxley, known as Darwin's bulldog, could be questioned due to the scientist's racial theories. Guys, he was he had theories and they were wrong. Okay, scientists scientists make mistakes. But even if he was a fucking piece of shit racist, it's a fucking museum. You guys told everybody that, hey, if you don't like these, these statues, if you want to keep them for history, fine. You told them at least don't celebrate them in public places. Put them in museums. They are in museums, you motherfuckers. Even if, even if, this, piece, if, even if this guy, Thomas Huxley, if, even if it was a fucking piece of racist piece of shit, you know... It's a museum. It's about learning history, the history of science. Okay, it's not meant to. We're we're not here to suck their dick, you know, because for, and celebrate everything, every everything about them. Okay, these people ha has had problematic views. Who gives a shit? We're we're here to learn about what what they did and how what they discovered. Okay, come on, man. This is a fucking museum. What are you supposed to do? You're gonna whitewash everything. You like how how much everything like how much how much of scientific history is going to be canceled because of the problematic views that every single one of these scientists they had? I mean, who's going to be left? I mean, is anybody going to be the, if like because I, the game that you're playing this you know six degrees of separate? I could everything in that museum I could tie to racism based on your standards. So just just get just burn the fucking museum to the ground then. I mean, oh, I'm, I shouldn't suggest that because pr you motherfuckers probably wouldn't mind that. Um, the museum holds one of the largest collections of items gathered by Carl, I can't pronounce his names, Linus, Li Li Lianus, Lianus, the Swedish scientist who devised the Latin naming system of different species. Guys, look, why? Why is this going to, why is this guy a problem? He th he thought Africans indolent, indolent, uh, and his naming system could be seen as erasing indigenous terms uh, for specimens then 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 collected and renamed by European naturalists. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay. So the okay all right. The the thing is, guys. That's part. Th these people doing these things is part of that history as well. Okay, you cannot just go revise history because you don't like how it happened, right? You know these the Africans there. They also went and took. They erased other the African tribes. I wonder the, a lot of these African tribes that they want to celebrate. For example, maybe like let's say they're gonna go discover the African tribes that they had their own naming. And they'd be like, oh, let's go with the namings that they originally had. Well, what if it's not as efficient as the naming of the, that the British came up with? What if it's not as um, clear and effective, right? And what if these African tribes went and destroyed some, and some other African tribes? Are you going to, like, 
go call them out for them. Like, and you know, the the naming and language and the methods that people use for categorizing things they always copy each other, right? Are you, for example, uh, when the oh here's an example here's a good example, right? So. During the golden age of Arabs and Persian, again, Persians, everybody says the golden age of Islam. I call them the golden age of Arabs and Persians because it, it was a golden age not because of Islam, but in spite of Islam. In spite or despite? In spite. Um, they went and took Greek philosophers' um, writing and they translated it to Arabic, right? Um, and that partly is responsible well mostly is responsible for well no partly i don't know partly or mostly but that is responsible for how the renaissance in europe because if it wasn't for these arab translators a lot of that greek philosophy greek not uh, philosophy would have been lost to the world right but they went and uh, they went and took that all of that and they translated it and then the Europeans went to get the Arabic text and they retranslated. But again, the Arab philosophers, they put their spin on it as well. And they put some of their thoughts on into it as well. And that also influenced the impact, impacted the thinking that great philosophers had um, after. Like when they, look, they looked at the Arab philosophers and the Persian philosophers, and they took note of what their thoughts were on it as well. Should we remove that? history because it was originally written by the greek philosophers should we like erase the impact to the arab philosophers the arab translators and the arab thinkers and the arab scientists and the arab and the persian philosophers arab and persian philosophers had on all of this i mean it's part of history i mean the arabs were, that the islamic empire was colonizing as well right they were colonialists as well they had an empire but that is now part of that scientific and philosophical history. It's part of it now. They added to it. I don't care if you don't like the fact that the 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 Arab Empire, the Islamic Empire, was like doing a whole bunch of nasty shit to the countries that they, to the countries, the land that they invaded. Yeah, that happened too. But you cannot erase the impact they had on all the knowledge that they collected and got. But these people are not going to go and call that shit out. Because they're not white. Because Arabs and Persian people are not white. They're going to have a double standard. <laughs> so, what's next? Hydrogen is racist. Oxygen is racist. Well, they're going to say the naming of these. Are, yeah, they're going to say that the naming is by white, by white people. So they are going to call it racist. What? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, the flora uh, specimens of... British Museum founding father Sir Hans Sloane, Slo who benefited from slavery in Jamaica, also from a large part of the collection. Form, oh, form a large part of the collection. Histor uh, historical as assemblages of items like Sir Hans Jama Jamaican collection could be reviewed by the institution, guys. I hope there's a backlash to this because there's a there, because a lot of people say like, "Hey, the woke dogma is going insane and all that," but don't worry, the backlash is there now. People, people on the left are saying like, "Okay, cut this shit out. You guys are going too far. This is like there is like a healthy pushback against this." But sometimes I feel like, is there really? I hope there is. So let's see. Is there going to be a backlash to this? Because it seems like a lot of people are just like bending the knee to me, right? So I don't know. Um, Michael Dixon, the director of Natural History Museum, explains to staff, the Black Lives Matter movement has de demonstrated that we need to do more and act faster. So as, as a first step, we have commenced an institution wide review on naming and recognition. Fuck you, Michael Dixon. Go Go eat a bag of dicks, you piece of shit. Uh, he added, we want to learn and educate ourselves, recognizing that greater understanding and awareness on diversity and inclusions are essential. Go fuck yourself. Anyways, this is this is what they this is what your civil rights movement has turned to. Civil rights movement that has used to be 
so i mean i hope it still is guys these movements are valuable okay these you know minority rights gay rights women rights trans rights these these are important to still fight for these things okay those those the, we shouldn't dismiss that those are battles that still need fighting but they but this being taken over by these lunatics okay please somebody save these important movements these movements from the left these are war they, you know we have to give credit to the left for these valuable movements that made a lot of difference okay but it's being taken over by these insane people somebody please 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 save them anyways let's go to some more happy news let me see what you guys are saying. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. So this is, here's my caption. I'm going to release. Sexy Cali is going to be released now. Okay. This is my caption. Is a good caption. Susanna approved this already. Um, we said we'll design our own sexy god and goddesses. Uh, here's the first hashtag sexy Cali. Get it on a shirt here. We'll we'll design a new god every month if we stay above 100 150 patrons. Help us stay here. And there's the link. And then next design, Kelly and Sita making out. Okay, so you guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready to see the design? Tell me you're tell me you're ready in the live chat. Come on, guys. Somebody say oh, there's a delay. Tell me you're ready. Yes, yes, Fatima is saying yay. Okay, okay, okay. Unleash the Kelly sexy and all. Yes, yes. You guys ready to see it? Okay, there's a delay. All right, I'm going to post it now. First on Facebook. Boom. Next on Twitter. Boom. Here it is. Ready. Oh, Susanna. Hey, Susanna is here. I just ordered my shirt. Yes, ready. I'm ready, baby. There we go. Oh, you guys. Oh, hurry up, Herman. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not mentally ready. Ready. Yes, Kelly. Yes. Yes. Not ready. Ready. <laughs> She is hot. Okay, I don't. I, she is hotter than hell. I like her. Okay, so this is when you click on. Let me actually check the test the links. See if the links work. Will this? Yeah, this will take you here, and this will take you to Patreon. Good, good. This is working. Oh wow. You guys like it? You guys like it? This is good. <laughs> good. Ta da! Yay! Ta da! Yeah, there's a delay between. <laughs> you guys like it? This is good. Let me see. On Twitter is being posted. Oh, where's my tweet? There we go. Oh yeah, Fatima is. Is this you, Fatima? This is you, right? Okay, guys, go retweet this. Go retweet this, please. Everybody, everybody go retweet this. Co-tweet it, retweet it, share it everywhere, 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 okay? But you guys like this design, right? She's amazing. Marcus saying she's amazing. Yes. This is, look, guys, look at her tattoo. She has an Atheist Republic tattoo. Let me see if you go here, you should be able to get it on other designs. Yeah, that's you. Fatima, you do art, hey? Maybe you should. I'm in love with Sexy Kelly. Yes. Come on, I guess she's so cute, hey? Okay, so I posted this now because I wanted to post it before going live with you guys, but I posted it now because. Um, I wanted to make sure it, India is awake. And I think it's morning there now because this is my gift to India. Anyways, we'll see. Um, 
No, not more upset Indians. More happy Indians. Come on, this is beautiful. Come on, guys. This is beautiful. People should be happy with this. Oh, there's a tattoo? Yeah, for some reason, they didn't say, yeah, there's... Oh, pfft. oh that's... Such, I, she's hot. <laughs> Don't know if you almost got me. Anyways. Okay. All right. I'm going to go deal with um, the, the release now and see. Maybe I'll do a live stream on sexy on our new sexy Cali. Again, by the way, guys, support us. Link in the page, link in the description to our Patreon. We, the next art is going to be uh, Cali and then Sita making out. So it's going to be pro LGBT. That's why I put the LGBT flag here. By the way, guys, look at the, the level of detail, eh? Look at, wait, here, the Facebook one is going to be better because Twitter takes some time to render it once you post something, right? But look at the level of detail. It's so good. This is so good. I'm in love with her. I'm in love. This this Kelly is even better than the one that I posted, right? Oh, yeah, Fatima is saying this better be on their shrines. Yes, Shri, I don't know if Shri is going to be here, but Shri said that the one that I posted earlier they're actually using that one now in shrines. They're worshiping because it went viral after I posted it. They're actually some people are actually worshiping that picture, right? I don't want that one to be worshipped anymore. I want to be replaced with this one. This is so much better. She's hot. <laughs> so I think she's hot. I sim for Kelly. Yes, I sim for Kelly too. I'm bisexual. Wow, good for you. So hot. All right, guys. I'm gonna go head uh, deal with this. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, link to sh the shirt for this one, link to it is in the description. And in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to put this on Aces Republic community as well. Yeah, let me do it here. And the community. But so in the description, there's a link to the T-shirt if you guys want the T-shirt. But I'm going to post this on Aces Republic's community tab as well. I'm going to do this on, yeah, cool. So it should be publicly available here as well. Oh, let's put a space here, and put a space here, put a space here, and put a space here. There we go. Now it looks good. All right, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. Um, we, we're going to have another um, live stream in 11 hours. You can see on our home, you know, I'm on, on our homepage. Hold on, let me mute this. Oh, it's already muted. You can see this one is coming soon in 11 hours. Um, Hindutva conspiracy theories. Uh, so we're going to do this one. It's going to be funny. We have a guest appearing. Link to his Twitter is in the description. Okay, cool. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. And hit the subscribe and hit the notification bell and like hit the like button as well. Every single one of you, every single person, guys, hit the hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Just do it. Do it now. Please, please do it. Please do it. It helps the channel. It helps us grow. Do it. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit the hit the bell button. Hit the bell button and then hit all. Hit the bell button. Hit all. Do it now. <laughs>